dear citizens let us have this conversation is life really about the Porsche cars, mansions and high-end lifestyle that you've traded our basic values of transparency and accountability to one another for our own basic quick gains? Where have we dumped our collective societal responsibility and the values we so much held in for God and my country? Today, I doubt if I'll make it through my education as fine-tuned as I ought to be because my teachers are absent without justification and tomorrow I might well be that half-backed and incompetent youth with qualification but not a grain of employable skill hunting for a job without preparation well. My money-minded teacher did not have that in consideration. The roads are in poor condition, and I mean the roads that can induce a miscarriage, the medics are on everyday vacation, working only when they wish to or when bribed enough to render a service they are paid to freely provide to the masses. Should I tell you of how I lost my dear mother under the watch of a doctor who came in late and refused to help my bleeding mother because he did not have the gloves and would not have the money to pay for his tip in what is supposed to be a public hospital or oh, we should talk about those at the airport that got their jobs through connections and go ahead to rubbish a poor man search for greener pastures and to the trash can they throw their dreams of traveling abroad because they cannot afford a 200k bribe even after presenting all the relevant travel documents Self-seeking has become the norm and we can hardly find genuine people. Countrymen, when are we putting all this to an end? When are we getting what we rightfully deserve if the people we trust throw us under the bus, betray us and milk us till death does us apart? See, corruption is an enemy of progress. It comes along with social class differences and income inequalities. So we have to deal with the haves and the have-nots under the same economy. Citizens. 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 Three times is not enough for me to tell you that you and I must blow the whistle too loud to the discomfort of the corrupt or that corruption is a matter of national interest and our silence signifies defeat. So let us gather the tools, the pens, the paper and the media. Let us spread the anti-corruption agenda to ground level. The Office of the Auditor General of Government, the Inspectorate of Government, the State House Anti-Corruption Unit. Open your doors wide enough. The foundation of this vice is the one we want to uproot in this fight. Tighten the laws, protect the citizens. Let us join forces in this fight against corruption such that as a team we can redeem our country from the fangs of corruption so if we must die we must die in the fight against corruption that would be a noble death